What's up everybody, Coach Bateman, and I've got another question and answer segment for you. So I'm gonna try to make this as composite as possible, but it's a two-part or three-part question, uh, but they all kind of relate with each other, right? So the first question was, what is my opinion on belt testings in regards to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? And let me qualify. There are a lot of promotional demonstrations where rolling and drilling has an, uh, been a part of what's going on, right? That's not really what I'm talking about. I'm talking about more the checklist, show me a scissor sweep, show me a triangle uh, choke, etc. Okay, you're a blue belt. My opinion is it's a great way to determine who should not be promoted, but I don't think it's a good way to determine a promotion itself. And here's why. You may be able to do a lot of these movements from memory and demonstrations of the technique, uh, but how do you apply them in live roles? What is your competitive spirit? You know, there's so many other things that come into play. Well, if you're up for up for blue belt or being considered for blue belt and you're like arm barring the wrong arm or you know turning the wrong direction on a scissor sweep, uh, things like that, that's a good way to let the coach know there are some big holes that we need to fix here, right? Uh, but as far as it being a good procedure for promotion, I think there are just a lot more things that need to go into that consideration uh, than would be demonstrated by having one good day on the mat or vice versa by having one bad day on the mat. The next question is the compound question and it also is regards to belt rank and promotion and that is uh, time and rank promotions and also association promotions versus um, instructor-based promotions, right? When I'm speaking on this accord, personally, I'm definitely speaking at the black belt and degree level. Uh, I think there are minimum time and ranks for colored belts. I think that's a good thing. Uh, but the general consensus is or has been in the community that activity at black belt is the component with a much more calendar-based progression than say blue to purple or purple to brown, right? So my, my opinion on that is uh, time and rank and activity is good. Uh, I think it's a minimum standard, but it comes back to the second question, association-based promotion versus instructor-based promotion. We subject ourselves to Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, right? It's grueling, it's tough, it's punishing, uh, it's molding, and it's the fire that we use to help harden our metal, right? It's best suited for a senior instructor to continue being the guide there is always more to learn. And if people have already taken that experience and invested that time, then I want to draw that uh, or draw from that rather. So simply watching the calendar fly by, um, I think that there's a lot more to it than that. What is activity? What are you contributing? How are you continuing your own growth in the sport or in the martial art, right? now? Not my decision to make because I don't have any high degree of authority, uh, but personally, I would never, um, one, I think it's just to ever consider putting a stripe on your own belt. Uh, even if you have checked the generic boxes and two, on that associational promotion level, I would never want, I don't know, hypothetically the IBJJF, right? You've got your three years in grade and they send you your next rank certificate. Uh, but how cheesy would it be to put a stripe, or to put a degree on your belt? Um, you know, there, there are different times and circumstances where people may separate or fall out from their original instructor. But, you know, I feel like if you're active in the community, uh, if you contribute and you stay active to jujitsu and you're rolling, then you should be surrounded by other black belts as a black belt, right? Uh, so there should be someone there to maintain the integrity and the respect of that process as opposed to simply saying, the days on the calendar have gone by, I am 
the next degree. Uh, to me, it's a little self-serving and uh, definitely not something I would ever be comfortable with. Beyond that, uh, one thing that I've always experienced in martial arts, and it may be a little different inside the jujitsu spectrum related to structure in the IBJJF specifically, um, but when you go to Taekwondo or to other martial arts, you know, the organization or association doesn't simply promote you based on time rank or time served or time in rank. You still have an instructor or a senior who is kind of designated um, for you and they would recommend you for promotion to the association based on their knowledge of your activity and your frequency and your contribution and things along those lines. So at the end of the day, um, if there's not an instructor involved in a promotion, I personally feel like you're promoting yourself and that's just no, no. Anyhow, that's my opinion. I think belt rank testings are a good way to exclude people from promotion, but I don't think they are a good one and done litmus test for promotion. And two, um, subjecting yourself to the culture and community of jujitsu through leadership and through peers, i.e. other black belts, as well as seniors, I think is way more uh, an honorable driving force towards accepting of the next promotion, uh, as opposed to just turning three years or five years on the calendar and then throwing a piece of tape on your belt. Coach Bateman, NXG Combat Sports, real quick, Thank you, Professor Wano. Super awesome stuff. Go check him out, Awano International and at Awano1999. Coach Bateman, NXG Combat Sports, Tsunami Jiu-Jitsu.